Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on this YouTube channel. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we're going to talk about how you need to stop self-sacrificing. And this is something that I have battled with for years because I would always put other people's needs before my own like proper people pleaser and so many of us get caught in these traps essentially where we don't know how to assert boundaries like that's the kind of lesson that I'm realizing comes from people pleasing and sacrificing yourself is that we don't know how to set boundaries and sometimes we don't even feel worthy of having boundaries of like choosing yourself over somebody else or choosing to put your needs before somebody else's that can definitely be a difficult thing to do for some people so we tend to self-sacrifice and let them walk all over us and I feel like there's a difference between meeting somebody's needs and then meeting somebody's needs at the detriment of your own and of your own sanity. So I received a DM the other day and she was talking to me about having to give her boyfriend some space and how long you should kind of wait and how she was feeling like really uneasy about it and things like that. And it got me thinking and sparked inspiration for making this video because so many of us will give space to somebody else or will cook for somebody else or will go to the place that somebody else wants to go to and all of these things which could be really nice and really kind and really giving but there comes a limit and a point where you'll do all of those things but you'll be literally sacrificing yourself to the point where you're miserable, you're unhappy you don't feel good, like it can lead to depression, it can lead to resentment, it can lead to so many things within ourselves because we're trying to put somebody else before us and I definitely think that some people as well will take advantage of this and they know that you'll always give to them so they'll always take, you know, like they'll always um, put that on you, they'll always expect things of you, they'll expect extra things of you and it's it's suffocating like it's things that don't feel good to you and things that you don't want so this is a dynamic where we need to learn boundaries and the only way to learn how to assert boundaries is to know where your boundaries lie and the only way to figure out where your boundaries lie is to know yourself is to know what you need to know what you like to know what you want to know to know your needs in relationships so then you know where that line is that you don't want to be crossed whether it's somebody else does something negative or whether it's you you'll know where that line is and when we're giving so much space to somebody and they're not communicating like they're running away then you're literally self-sacrificing because whilst it's great to give them space for a little while, I feel like there reaches a point where, okay, now they're just taking the piss. Like now they're just happily leaving you self-sacrificing while they just live their best life, you know? And it's like, they want to see you suffer. So I feel like there's a limit and a line between just being kind and giving to someone and then doing those things at the detriment of yourself. So you have to know the difference pay attention to how it feels, pay attention to why you feel the way that you do, like what is it that's triggering you and then figure out your boundaries. This was the advice that I gave her was like nobody can give you the right answer, you have to do what's best for you. So you have to figure out where your boundaries lie because for me my boundary may be in a completely different place to yours and that's not because I'm better or worse, it's simply because we're different people. So our boundaries are going to be different and no one is right or wrong, but you have to figure out what feels good to you, what your boundary will be. So whether that's like, ooh. so whether your boundary, oh my God. So in this example of what she was asking about giving space, your boundary might be like, okay, a day of space, while somebody else's boundary might be a week of space, but you have to figure out what that is for you in every type of situation so that when it happens or you figure it out even in the moment of when it happens when it happens you then get clear on that boundary so you know how to communicate this is not knowing your boundary so that you just 
end things and break up it's knowing your boundaries so you can communicate in your relationship because that's what relationships are they're just two people communicating getting to know each other enjoying moments together creating memories you know like you have to be able to be open and honest about your feelings about your wants and needs you have to let them know so you figure out where your boundary is because something triggered you it doesn't mean you have to break up it just means okay this thing triggered me why did it trigger me how did it trigger me what emotion did it trigger now what will I won't what will I want? What will I accept and what won't I accept? You know, based on this circumstance and this trigger, what is okay and what is not okay? Now let me go have an honest conversation with this person about how I'm feeling. Tell them how you're feeling about why I'm feeling that way. Does it trigger me from a different experience, a past experience? Like have this conversation and then let them know this is what I need and I really don't appreciate this, like, this is crossing a boundary, can we talk about this, can we, like, figure things out and come to a common ground and a common understanding and be able to move forwards, and there will be some occasions where maybe you won't be able to, but I feel like those are in extreme circumstances where you're just not compatible, you know, it's about being compatible, and oftentimes you can have so many differences, but if you're both able to communicate then you're able to work out those differences and get on the same page and be going in the same direction. So it won't matter. Those differences won't affect you both in a negative way, even if they're still there. But it's when those differences clash and you can't get on the same page and they don't respect your boundary, they don't want to hear how you feel, that's when you know, okay, this person is causing me more suffering than happiness. So it's not going to work because we're not going in the same direction. We want different things. We have completely different needs, completely different values, completely different boundaries, all of these kind of things, you know, it's about compatibility. So you have to get clear on your own first before you can go and have this conversation and also find out their boundaries, you know, like it's a give and take. So just like they have to respect yours, you have to respect theirs too. And you just have the open communication with each other. Because chances are, if somebody is ignoring you, or if somebody expects like expects you to clean up all the time, expects you to cook all the time, or if they expect like if they expect you to go to work while they just sit at home all day, like all of these kind of things, you have to get clear on what their boundary is too, what their wants are, what their needs are, what their love languages are, all of those things. Once you become aware of all of those things, you'll know who they are, you'll know the direction they're going in, you'll know what they want, and you'll be able to tell whether you're compatible with that, you know? So I hope this video was helpful, thank you so much for watching, you can always DM me or text me or anything like that, um, WhatsApp, comment below, all of those options, if you have anything else that you want me to talk about or if you need any advice, and I'm not a qualified therapist, I just like to help people, and I've been through some relationship stuff in my 27 years, so if you want any advice, you can definitely reach out, I'll be happy to listen, and I'll help as best as I can, and don't forget to check out the description box below for links to my music and everything like that, and subscribe and like this video so I know that you like it, if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I love you. I can't get enough, boy. I just want you to myself. I don't need you when I fuck you. Need you when you touch me. I just want you to myself.